if someone were dating you and then you found out that they were putting on weight on purpose, would you continue dating them? What would be your reaction? Am I getting the chance of dating? Am I putting myself out there? Am I, am I getting rejected? Not everyone is going to go dig deeper. They're just going to label you as a freak. And that'll be that. Fat acceptance is the idea that it's okay to be fat. And I kind of have a problem with that. <laughs> I was like, why is this guy taking... I don't know. Hubby chasing was for me an escape. Um, I am hanging out. I just took a shower. This is our host, Kish. Kish. He's sleeping. <laughs> so, y'all, wow. We are on the top ish floor of the building, but as I've discovered here in Toronto, um, buildings are really, really tall. They don't have a mountain to stop them from having tall buildings, which is good, which is nice. Um, I personally like cities with tall buildings. I don't know why. I think it's because I like, like really urban areas because it means a lot of people and I'm more likely to find someone. <laughs> it's kind of messy around me. Let's just say that it's a metaphor for my state of mind. Hey everyone, I'm back here in my bed to a certain extent right back where uh, I started with hubby chasing. It's really gonna be a really fun opportunity to be able to, you know, not just talk about dating but also talk about presentation. And yes, I will be going on a trip uh, to Toronto actually, um, where hopefully I meet someone special. We're at the top of the CN Tower and RJ just said that one of the Great Lakes is the ocean. The ocean is right there. <laughs> the ocean. Right there. It's not the ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. I embarked on a journey of focusing on my love life, on focusing on video editing, on focusing on production, <laughs> on becoming my best self. <laughs> okay, you can stop filming and Dibby. Dibby For a while I succeeded. I was optimistic. I was ambitious, I was thriving. Um, so basically it's really been a really good week. I had such a good time meeting people uh, from Toronto. I've had such a good time. Um, I followed the advice. Uh, that I was given by Rioma about, you know, dressing. One thing I would say to everyone, no matter whether they're big or not, is mm -hmm. to wear fitted clothes. Okay. To know how your body is and be able to um, recognize whether mm -hmm. something fits you or not. Right. Instead of wearing a belt, wearing suspenders, mm -hmm. is again something that will add verticality to your, um, to your mm -hmm. side. Yeah. So uh, when you have a belt, it breaks your body in half. Right. And that's one thing you want to, you want to, avoid because right. then it will create the tension uh, in the mid part of your body okay and then uh, people will not look from like look at you like up and down they'll wait they'll just they'll stop there okay so that's something that you don't really want to do you want to keep your sweat vertical how to have the proper like look okay so let's turn it around for example okay. so I'm really tall right yeah what would you recommend for people in terms who still want to have style, who still want to, you know, have a sense of fashion and they don't want to look like a blob, uh, but also um, want to look less vertical, you know, for people to look at them and kind of have the illusion that the person is either more in shape, more buff, when they're, you know, more on the skinny side. Okay, so for instance, when we when we go into suited, 
Mm -hmm. uh, one, one thing in order to break that verticality is to wear um, color, uh, a blazer and a, a pants that are not the same fabric and color. Okay. So for instance, you uh, you can see like the navy, the navy jacket and khaki pants. Okay. That's a very classic combina combination. Okay. It looks very great for summer. The look will be divided. Mm -hmm. You will look at the blazer, you look at the, the trousers, mm -hmm. you look at the shoes and the belt, mm -hmm. but it won't be one look. Right. So as you spend more time looking at the outfit, you focus less on oh how tall he is. So I don't know if it's just because I've been like trying to act like an adult. Um, I'm wearing adult clothes, taking myself seriously. I bought cologne, um, I bought a watch. No matter who you are, I think being able to wear a watch that complements your style or your, you know, your body complexions is, uh, is a great asset. I like silver just because, for instance, you can see here that my veins are pretty much blue. Okay. So that means that uh, yeah. silver is better and colder colors will complement my, my skin complexion more. One thing that I notice in particular is I've started to feel a lot more confident. Now, there can be multiple factors to that. Um, among others is I feel more attractive here. I don't know if it's because I'm new, um, so I'm just treated like fresh meat by the locals here. Usually I always wear a hat because like I have an issue with this part of my hairline. I wish it were straight. It's been this thing like, I don't know. In my family, we all have a hairline like this. I've like forever had a hairline like this. It's not like it's particularly like evolving and I'm progressively losing my hair, but it's just kind of like been more or less like this since my early 20s and it isn't really changing. Hopefully it'll just stay that way. But it's always been an issue for me. I've always tried to hide it and I always felt triggered whenever I saw it, so I would just hide it at all costs. Recently I haven't been wearing a hat and I've been fe feeling like cool and chill about it and it's been such a good experience. Wow, okay, no, the lighting's really shit in here. And all in the while, I was suffering in silence. I remember that when I started uh, hubby chasing and when I would talk about it, I was really passionate about the fact that there should be no shame in being who you want to be. That there should be no shame in expressing yourself and speaking your truth. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <sighs> but what am I gonna do about it? I'm gonna see my doctor whenever I get my medication. I'm probably gonna feel better. <laughs> but why is there such a doubt deep down, like, that if I do feel better, like, I won't succeed still regardless of if I'm on the meds or not I just I don't know if I could ever forgive myself if I didn't do something with my life I don't know if I could handle it <sighs> I keep hoping that things are gonna get better, that I'm gonna get my big break. But what if I do get my big break? What if I, <laughs> what are the odds of me getting a big break? <laughs> look at my fucking room. I cleaned my apartment two days ago and look at it. Look at this shit. <laughs> It's a fucking mess. I got this. I was waiting for this piano. Like it would solve all my issues. 
I can just play and sing my pain away. I was made to feel like people like me don't matter. And I was so determined to prove the world wrong. If someone were dating you and then you found out that they were putting on weight on purpose, would you continue dating them? What would be your reaction? Hey puppy. Hello. Hello. Hey everyone, so say hi. You are not filming me right to now. To Corey. <laughs> Corey, really? <laughs> I'm leaving. I don't need this from Marco. you. Marco. So Henry, Hi. tell me about yourself. Really? <laughs> <laughs> the attention. This cat this dog needs attention. Wait, I'm gonna show you my Instagram, <laughs> and I'm gonna show you my YouTube. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. Wait, where's my phone? Fails at life. I've seen your Instagram, by the way. What? You've seen it? Yeah. Where? On Grinder. <laughs> Fuck. For real? Yeah, where we fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically what I'm doing is... Oh, you look so good. By the way. I gained weight on purpose. Because mm -hmm. I think... I was uncomfortable with my body before. And um, I think it's hotter to be bigger. So background story is I tried to film him reacting to my thing and I messed up yet again. <laughs> I told him and I fucking <laughs> fucked up. You wanna like me do not. that? I gained weight on purpose. You said what? <laughs> you like shocked? Or you have some you form of gain, body dysmorphia? You didn't, well, you <laughs> didn't, didn't gain weight work. on purpose. It's just that's the weight you thought you wanted to be at. And that's no, what you feel I, comfortable at. I, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I used to look like this. And then I gained weight on purpose. I didn't know. Can we continue walking? I'm freezing. Aw, <laughs> uh, I've... He doesn't like me anymore. Stop. <laughs> Why do you do that? It just never felt comfortable in my body and I just gained weight because I didn't love myself and I just, and to be honest, I felt more comfortable and I felt hotter being bigger. So did you see the pictures of me when I was really skinny when I was a twink? <laughs> huh. Oh my god. I was like 19 here. Yeah, you're so ah. twink eater. Yeah. yeah you're too skinny. I, was ev yeah. I wasn't even trying to be skinny. Four. This is me when I was a twink. This is like my natural body type. Is that really you? This is like my natural body type. Okay. And then... This is... This is me now. You look totally different. Like... I'm kind of different, like I'm biased. Like I'll always look at someone's face before I look at anything else. <laughs> and so the real change is in your face, like you've grown. You've, yeah. You've clearly gone from like 15 year old to... I was like 18, 19. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good change. Okay. You needed some meat on your face. <laughs> you, are you okay? I think you're cuter now. Okay. Thank you. So how, what does that make you? Like, you wanna see the thing. Well, it's kind of strange because like everybody wants to lose weight and look slim, and we are trying to do the reverse thing. So yeah, yeah, opposite thing, right? Hmm. I just thought it was um, cool that maybe you're just trying to be a little bit different and just <laughs> discovering yourself more. I mean, uh huh. You know, at the at the end of the ultimate day, if you feel happy being bigger. And you can still get laid. Hey, <laughs> you know, so be it. I mean, right? You know, right. I mean, obviously, when you're thin, you're gonna attract a completely, probably, completely different guy. Yeah. What if I told you I was still trying to gain weight, like actively? Live your best life, as long as you're healthy. At the end of the day. Do you so, feel weirded out by the fact that I told you? No, not really. Okay. You no, know, but I'm very like, you know, 
chill and cool and open-minded so yeah. um but not really it didn't weird me out or anything no yeah okay oh yeah. it's so sweet i didn't get a shitty reaction I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars